Hey everyone, it's Michelle the Dreaming Dilettante and welcome to my dollhouse siding adventure. So I'm going to have pieces of this video um, because what ended up happening was, and you can see there's some color on the dollhouse that wasn't there before. I went through, I spackled everything and I'll share that process with you. And then I sanded everything. I'll share that with you as well. And then when I painted it, it's just not, it's not looking good. <laughs> This is an older dollhouse and a lot of the wood splintered and it's just uneven and it's not looking its best. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to do some vinyl siding. Um, not real vinyl. We're going to be using my favorite material, cereal boxes. <laughs> I absolutely love what you could do with them and I have some pieces already cut. I'm going to quickly walk you through how I did it. I'm not going to do like a actual tutorial but what I did was I just looked to see what size dollhouse siding would be which um, in my research showed about three quarters of an inch so I have a cereal box you can see on the back here that I've cut down to three quarters of an inch um, in height and the lengths are varying depending on the cereal box that I used and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mark down from the top of each one a quarter of an inch so that that is kind of my um, measure my mark for where to line up the uh, piece that's going to go over top of it so I'm going to start at the bottom and build up and I'll you'll I'll bring you along while I'm doing that portion but it's basically the same thing that I did for the roof um, and if you didn't see that video I'll link that in the description below because I go into more detail about how I cut my strips and then I just put a marker here for where I'm going to apply glue and then my next piece is going to go right over top and it'll line up with my pencil mark that I've made, which is in my case going to be a quarter of an inch down and then they'll line up, well, even. <laughs> not like that, even, hopefully. And I'm going to do that here. Now I have not done my um, windows or door frame or anything like that. so. Because I'm using cardboard, I'm not worried because if I had, I'm going to be using wood for the window um, trim and for the insides, everything else is going to be done in wood. So because I don't have the wood yet, um, that's one of the reasons. But the other reason is I'm going to have to cut really straight to get it to line up to, like if I already had the window trim here and now I have to cut my vinyl or my, my cardboard pieces to come up to the window trim I'm gonna have to be very, very precise, and that is not really a strong suit of mine as of yet. So I'm going to, and because this is cardboard, I don't think it's really gonna be a problem to put the wood trim over the cardboard. Now I'm gonna have possibly some gapping that you might see, but I can just fill that in with a fine wood filler and I think it'll all be good. So um, that is my plan. So I am gonna, I've already cut out, um, I was working on these last night. I'll show you if I just drop one. Um, I have quite a bit of uh, strips, so I have no idea how many I'm going to need, but I'm going to start with what I have here, and I'm going to start marking off my quarter-inch markers, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to start uh, gluing them onto the dollhouse. I did a sample um, strip of them, and it's going to take at least two coats of the paint for it to hold, unless I put a primer down first, which I might do. Um, I'll have to see what I end up doing and what I have available to me. But if not, yeah, I think I might just have to do three coats. I don't, it's not going to take a ton of paint because it's really not a huge surface. So I think I have enough paint left. Um, I think I mentioned before, I'm going to be using the paint that's left over from my studio when we painted it. Now you might be wondering what I'm going to do up here. So this is not going to be the vinyl. I am actually going to do something I've always wanted to do in my own house, which is the scalloped detail at the top. So I'm going to be using more cardboard and I'm going to make some scalloped um, things here. So I'm going to make a template first and then that'll be what I'll use to make the rest of it. That's going to be in a separate video though. So for today we're going to be focusing on siding this. So let's get started. Okay, so here I am when I first was planning on just doing a spackle and paint on the dollhouse. And you can see here how we have some really deep divots and things like that. And the spackle did a good job at covering those up. Um, 
but just with the old wood and things, once I painted it, they started to show through. So that's why I decided to do the siding. But I wanted to show you my spackling and how I did that and then how I sanded it in case your situation is different and you wanted to get some ideas on how to do that. What I used here is actual, um, like a putty that you would use for uh, sheetrock, uh, for taping and things like that. So that's what I'm using here. A wood filler may have filled it in better and this was my first go so I'm sure uh, somebody maybe more skilled could have filled all this in and had it work but for me it just wasn't and honestly I'm actually happy because I'm really looking forward to going ahead and doing the siding because I think it's gonna add some really fabulous detail to the dollhouse. So I went ahead and removed the door because there were some screws sticking out here from how it was attached. So I have the door. I'm going to hang on to it. I don't believe I'm going to reuse this particular door, but I am going to keep it for um, measurements so I know how big to make a replacement door.
So I still have some more to do. I definitely have some more siding to do, some more strips to cut, but I wanted to get this video out and show you my plan. So what I'm gonna keep doing is I'm gonna keep working on this siding and then I am going to bring you guys back next week and I'll show you when I'm ready to do the scalloped part, which is gonna be the next part in the peak. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on next week. So when you come, we come back next week, I'm gonna show you the finished siding and then we can work together on doing the scalloped in the top of the doll's house. But thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions about what I'm doing, please do comment below and I will see you guys all again next week. Have a great day.